Barca and Real collide. The Camp Nou once again decorated in the colours of Barcelona. This is what greets the players every time. Well, this is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full-on, then I'll be happy to watch that. The action has already started. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, the goalkeeper, Kepa. He never seems to get flustered or, or lose his composure. That kind of calmness is infectious too and should help the defence in front of him play with a little more confidence. He's also good on the ball, so keep an eye out for those quick passes to the forward line. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. It's Gundogan. Forward it goes. Hossalou. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. And the counter is on. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Rudiger. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And, what a... and the shot! What a save! Terrific reactions! Vinicius Junior. Valverde with a long pass. João Cancelo. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Gone for a throw in. Gets away from his opponents. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Valverde. Rudiger. Now a chance to break, he gets big chance! Goal! Barcelona! That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Oh, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. And he's going long. That intervention was very necessary. That's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. 
Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. He's looked long this time. Nacho gets good distance on it. <laughs> Nicely controlled. And it's played forward. And there's the end of the first half. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. We can review the first half. Peter, this is far from a lost cause. Yes, they've been hit once by a, a pacey opposition, but they've asserted more control and, and look capable. Barcelona leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. We're already back on the way here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Modric. Tony Kroos tries to get it forward quickly. Vinicius Junior plays it out to the flank. Hoists it forward. Tony Kroos. Nacho. Rudiger. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior takes the long option. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's got through to him. It's on a plate. Lewandowski unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock from that challenge. Good challenge, stood up well against his man. Real Madrid are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. Across the field it goes. Valverde. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Turns and goes back. Real chance! Great effort, beautifully taken. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. He's pinged one through here. Done very well to intervene. Back to the keeper, Vinicius Junior has been caught there, it's a foul. <laughs> Tries his luck! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there.
opened the one. Oh, that's not going to make it. And it's played forward. Vinicius Junior. Cut out in the nick of time. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. And he has shown him a yellow card. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Close drives it forward. Ball through needs to be good here. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Final seconds, this has to be it. And they've got it back as soon as... Vinicius Junior! Oh, that is very close. Vinicius Junior brilliantly took control of that. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. <laughs> Two minutes to be added on. It is just a question of running down the clock now. And he's managed to get himself offside. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Barcelona made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about 